hello guys here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today I am going to show you how to make a very different kind of brinjal curry and that is of green color as you can see so you may call it green brinjal curry and we will make it without onion and garam masala it's super delicious really so let's see the recipe first we have to make the spices paste so I have taken some green chilies according to taste some fresh coriander leaves I washed them properly of course and here are some dry coconut you may take fresh coconut also and here is one inch of ginger and eight to ten cloves of garlic now we have to blend them so I have taken a mixer jar a small mixer jar and I'm adding all the things into the jar we have to add some more ingredients along with them so I'm adding them first green chilies and coriander now we have to add some uh, coriander seeds I'm taking about two tablespoon of coriander seeds here one and a half teaspoon of white sesame seeds it's the white sesame seeds sesame seeds are fully optional you may skip it but it will give us a great texture and now I'm adding about one teaspoon of cumin seeds now we have to add some water here three to four tablespoon of water and now we have to blend them we'll add more water during blending if needed so now I'm covering the jar and let's make a smooth paste of it and here our paste is ready here it is we have to make it green so we won't use any red chilies for this recipe now I have taken a small plate and I'm adding some of the paste into the plate to make a stuffing for the brinjals it's enough and now I'm taking some roasted peanut powder simply I roasted some peanuts and cooled them down and after cooling down I have made a coarse powder in mixer here it is now we'll add the powder to the paste gradually and mix them we have to make the paste little tight for the stuffing so I'm adding some peanut powder here we'll mix it very nicely and now it's ready as you can see now we have to add some salt in it for a great taste we'll add the rest of the salt with the gravy now we have to mix it again and now our stuffing is ready and here are our brinjals I have taken six brinjals and it's local brinjals small size I have washed them nicely and now we have to cut them we'll put two cuts in one brinjal in a cross pattern as I'm showing you and of course we won't separate the stem part of the brinjal here it is in the same way we'll prepare all of the brinjals putting cuts this type of cutting will help us stuffing the brinjals so let's prepare all of them all of them are ready now we have to add stuffing into the brinjals one by one now I'll use my hand you may use your spoon or a knife if you're expert but I'm using my hand this way we'll fill the stuffing now our first brinjal is ready as you can see this way we will prepare all of the brinjals so let's do it all of the brinjals are ready with the stuffing as you can see so now 
we have to fry them and cook them so let's go for the pan i'm adding some cooking oil into the pan and after the oil is heated well we have to add some whole spices for tadka so at first i'm adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds half teaspoon of mustard seeds one pinch of asafoetida add to 10 curry leaves now everything is fried well and after that we have to add the brinjals to the oil we have not to wait for a long time so i am adding the brinjals here and we have to fry them for some time until a light red color and we have to flip them this way after some time and they are fried a little as you can see the color is lightly changed now we have to add the rest of the spices paste is the rest of the stuffing so we'll add it and we have some more spices paste in the mixer jar so we'll add it also and we'll add some water washing the mixer jar I have added a little water washing the mixer jar. Now we have to cover the pan and cook for some time on low heat until the oil is released from the spices and the water is dried well. And before covering we have to add some salt to taste for the gravy. We'll mix it properly. And after mixing we'll cover the pan for some time. If you are thinking the mixture is so dry then you may add some water. In between we have to uncover the pan and check it and stir it of course to prevent burning from the bottom. And now the oil is released as you can see. I am stirring it properly and after that we have to add some water for gravy. Don't add too much water for this gravy because this curry is actually more delicious in a thicker gravy. so i have added some water and now we'll cover and cook the heat should be on medium and now i'm covering the pan it's boiling nicely in between we have to uncover it and stir it this way and now the brinjals are cooked to 100% i'll show you actually we have to check the brinjals if it is cooked or not at the stem part of the brinjals i'm showing you this way yes it's cooked 100% and now our curry is ready for serving the gravy consistency is also perfect for me so now I'm turning the heat off and serving the curry. You can see friends that the texture is so delicious, so tempting and its taste is super delicious. We haven't used onion and garam masala for this recipe, but the taste is really amazing and the recipe is also easy as you have seen. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. This curry is very delicious to eat with boiled rice, roti and chapati. So, make it and enjoy it. Hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.